All right, fight fans, it is time for the opening bout of the evening. Red Owl Boxing proudly presents four rounds or less in the super welterweight division. Sponsored by the Arrow Group of Companies, our judges scoring the bout at ringside, Deborah Wong, Jasper Kujawski, and Martin Dalida. And once the action begins, the referee in charge, Dave Dunbar. Introducing first, on my left, fighting out of the blue corner and tonight wearing red, trimmed with white. His official weight, 159 and a half pounds. Tonight he seeks his first professional win in the ring, hailing from Montreal, Quebec. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Justin Grant! And his opponent on my right, fighting out of the red corner and also wearing red trimmed with white. His official weight, 156 and a half pounds. He is undefeated thus far with two wins against no defeats. One win coming by way of knockout. He comes to us all the way from Tbilisi, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Emzar Iashvili. Referee Dave Dunbar to give his final instructions. Gentlemen, we went through the rules earlier in the dressing room. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Beltline is here. Beltline is here. There or above will be considered good blows, gentlemen. Any questions from the corners? Touch gloves now, gentlemen. Come out at the bell. Good luck to you both. Opening contest, four rounds in the middleweight division. Both fighters in uh, red trunks trimmed with white. You see Yashvili, ever the aggressor. You see his back tattoo, fight or die, which uh, gives you a glimpse into the intensity and the attitude of Mr. Yashvili. Really trying to work his jab here in the early going. One thing we've seen out of Yashvili in his young career so far, Steve, unlike a lot of fighters that use that kind of TikTok peekaboo style, a lot of guys are, are doing that to load up left hooks. He's usually looking to load up right hands, and we've seen him uncork a few of them already. He does, and he shifts back so well from that peekaboo stance, Corey, and he reloads that weight to his back foot and he gets such a nice strong right hand that we've seen here early in the opening round. But good boxing from Justin Grant. You know, I mean, when he moves well and he boxes well, that's going to be the, the key thing for him here tonight is to box and use that jab and stay on the outside, not so he can get attacked by Shabili. We saw a good left hook to the body there from Grant a moment ago. And he believes that as the fight goes on, that he'll be able to wear Yashvili down. And, and that's an interesting strategy in a four-rounder, Steve, but perhaps with some body shots like that, it can actually take place. With body shots and the aggression that Ishavili has in his come-forward style, that he's just relentless, he doesn't co stop coming forward, it should be easy for Justin Grant to outbox him and move him and, and you know, pinpoint those body shots like he just did right there with that nice right hand in the body. There's a good check left hook up top. Dropped the right hand to the body, did Justin Grant. Been able to curb some of that early aggression from Yashvili already. Encouraging signs for Justin Grant, who's seeking his first professional win here tonight. He's back downstairs to the body, does Grant. You see the body language of Grant already, like he's starting to settle in and gain some confidence. He is getting confident, but you mean this early in the fight against such a strong puncher like Yashvili, you want to get too confident or overconfident. It's only a four rounder. He's got to keep doing what he's doing. Boxing from the outside and moving and not being a still target for Ishavili. And a beautiful check left hook by Grant there. And as you mentioned, Corey, you mean um, Justin Grant comes from Montreal. Oh, and a big right hand from Ishavili. He really found that shot he's been looking for. He saw Grant loading up on an uppercut to the body, but Ishavili got there first. Ten seconds of the opening round. An entertaining one to kick us off here at the Owl's Nest in Brampton. 
Justin Grant ends the round with a beautiful left hook to the body of Emzari Shabili. And that's going to be key for him as this fight goes on, is keep working the body. Swinging with that wild right hand, and Justin Grant dropping nice and rolling out, nice and smooth, and coming back with a beautiful right hand of himself. That was a very good round, I, fit, I thought, for Justin Grant, um, considering he really likes to come out strong and, and set the pace and set the tone. A good confidence boost of a round for Justin Grant, who to this point is 0-1. We mentioned losing his pro debut to Rhett Gibbons. To get the win column here tonight, and Picking up the pace here in the early going of round two. And some good body shots by Justin Grant. I'm telling you right now, Corey, the footwork and the movement's gonna give Ishavili a lot of problems. He's already, I'm seeing signs of frustrations. He's swinging and getting wild. Justin Grant's just gotta keep his defense up and keep moving and be smart, because Ishavili does have the power to turn his life out if he lands clean. Now he's really starting to let his hands go. Not finding a whole lot as he headhunts towards Justin Grant. Grant pivots out of the way, uses the ropes, now back to the center of the ring. He's really falling short with that right hand again. And he fell short, um, Corey. It was just such a, a smooth, just a one step back. He just threw all his power, all his momentum, and just threw Ishabili's momentum off. Just because Justin Grant is a nice slide back move that took the momentum away from Ishabili. They thought that the later rounds in this fight would belong to them. And indeed, the big flashes of power we've seen from Yusfili have come early in fights. And right now, we're seeing another one as Yusfili starting to dig away to the body. He did land a big right hand with push Justin Grant back. But he's right in front of the score. I don't see the, the legs really shook of Justin Grant, but it definitely did get his attention. Some uppercut that snuck in there from Yusfili as well. The best sequence of the fight for him. Question, Steve, I think is can he put enough of those bursts together because the totality of the round has been controlled by Grant so far. The biggest moments perhaps have been Yashvili's along the ropes. Absolutely, and Yashvili did land a beautiful 20 second barrage of punches there. But aside from that, he was losing this round, chasing Justin Grant. Justin Grant's been boxing, dipping, moving, and boxing beautifully. Um, so this round is a little bit closer as we head near the, the final 30 seconds here. Trains out of Donnybrook, Donnybrook Boxing Club in Toronto, quickly becoming one of the best clubs of talent in Canada. And you see a good left hook in the body there from Yashvili. Donnybrook in Montreal, you meant to say. Yes, sir, yes, of course. Another uppercut connects there from Yashvili. He might have found something with that shot. As the seconds tick away here, in what was an entertaining second round in our opening contest. It's gonna be a tough, a tough round to call, Corey, as a judge. I mean, the first round, Justin Grant boxed beautifully. How did Shavili chase him around the ring and miss him? Um, that round was a little bit better for Shavili. He caught Justin Grant on the round on, on the ropes a few times, landed some cleaner shots, and applied a lot more pressure than he did in the first round. some of the action for round two. And this is the, the aggression and the, and the clean power shots for 22nd that Ishabili landed when he had Justin Green on the ropes. And a beautiful right uppercut there. I don't think it really hurt Justin Grant as he seemed to have his legs underneath him, but it definitely caught his attention. And you know I mean, I'm sure as he went back to the corner, his coach, Ian McKillop, reminded him, 
You cannot be sitting on the ropes with a guy like Ishavili who has power and his ruthless intentions in his punches. Round three underway. And certainly in Grant's pro debut against Red Gibbons, the, the worst moments for him in that fight were in that exact same scenario when he gave Gibbons an opportunity to put those combinations together. But otherwise, it was an extremely competitive fight as we're seeing here tonight. corner of Yashvili asking him to double up the jab. We see him obey, now getting back behind his lead hand. And, and that's great advice coming from Yashvili's corner. Double jab, triple jab. Get Ryan Grant, or sorry, Justin Grant, pressed up on the ropes where he can't move and be slick, and then you can land your power shots. But when the fight's in the center of the ring, like it is right now, and Justin Grant's using that jab, Yashvili doesn't really have a solid answer. For Yashvili, you know, it, it's fundamental to just say everything comes off the jab, but particularly for him, it's just easier for him to get on the inside behind his jab rather than trying to make a defensive maneuver, slip something and get to the inside. He hasn't had as much success doing that so far. He hasn't. Yashvili trying to find a route to the body, but Grant gets off the ropes. He's really again working back behind his jab. And credit to Grant. I mean, that's, I mean, he got himself on the rope and he was, he should really rush him and, and kept him there. But you I mean, Justin Grant moving side to side, you I mean, got him off there free and clear. And these are the scenarios where you think Yashvili wants to really work. We're inside the final minute of round three. And this one's scheduled for four rounds. Shot to the body there from Grant. See Yashvili trying to counter over the top with his right hand. It's that chopping right hand that's been the money punch for Yashvili in his young career. And he connected on that one. And Grant might be a little bit affected by that. I don't really think he's hurt, Corey. He kind of grazed off his shoulder. Justin Grant did the Floyd Mayweather shoulder roll and he kind of got caught with that right hand from Isha Billy. As we head into the final 10 seconds, though there wasn't a whole lot of clean shots playing in those barrage, the judges see the pressure from Isha Billy aiming. That round could have been given to Ishibili on the pressure alone, which I thought it was given to him. So, I mean, we got a very close fight with one fighter each having a round and one being closed. So, I mean, this is a very important round as we had in the fourth and final round for both these men here tonight. Here we see some of the work from Yashvili from the previous round, Steve. And, and that's when Yashvili does his best work is when he gets Justin Grant pressed up on those ropes. And Justin Grant doesn't have an answer. Though he's not getting hit with super clean shots, the judges are seeing a fighter on the rope being pounded, Ladies whether he's clean fourth shots or not. And final I mean, round. It's good work for Yashvili. Fourth and final round of our opening contest. And Emzar Yashvili right on top of Justin Grant in the center of the ring. Yashvili coming out like he wants it. He knows he's got to land some big shots. I think both fighters is very evident by their body language right now and their activity that they both believe that they need this fourth round. And the way that we're seeing it, Steve, as you described, Probably two rounds that are very clear and one that you could score either way if you wanted to. This is definitely a big round. You can hear the corner of Ishavili begging for body shots, begging for liver shots. And this is a good fight for Ishavili on the inside like this. He's the brawler. This is the sort of fight that he wants. 
Good combination on the inside for Yashvili. Some of those caught on the arms of Justin Grant, but there was a right hand that snuck into the body, and then one up top. You see spinning the head of Grant along the ropes. An excellent opening minute of the round for Mzar Yashvili. Oh, and Good. a beautiful uppercut. uppercut by Justin Grant. Maybe the best shot of the fight for Grant. And it came out of time, Steve, when the momentum was swinging entirely the other way. Big did, turnaround here for Grant, did who's Isho trying Billy, to put some punches together. Did Isho Billy empty his tank in the first minute of the fourth and final Body round? Both men giving it their all here in the fourth and final round. Well, we describe the intimate atmosphere here at the Owl's Nest. These two getting very intimate on the inside, chest to chest, and slugging away here in the final minute. Good shot by your Philly. Oh, and but a Grant beautiful uppercut. What a shot from Grant. And Yashvili is on wobbly legs. And what an uppercut. What a reply from Yashvili. Back and forth action with 30 seconds remaining in the round and in the contest. What a way to start off the night. Justin Grant and Emzar Yashvili going toe to toe. up against the ropes. A wild fourth and final round as Grant starting to rock the head back of his Philly. And there is the final bell. What a fourth round between Yashvili and Grant to kick things off. Wow, what a fight, Corey. And the only person I feel sorry for here tonight is the judges. That's a tough one to score if you ask me. Both men gave it their all. Both men deserve credit for the fight for our show, but of course, we should be the winner. Well, the momentum swings in that fourth round. We see the beautiful uppercuts, and it wasn't the first one landed by Justin Grant, and he had Ishabili hurt, but let's not forget the first 60 seconds of that round, Ishabili applied a lot of pressure on Justin Grant, and near the end, we see Justin Grant had Ishabili up against the ropes. But credit to Justin Grant. You know, I, I think there is a very good case for him in that fourth and final round, Steve. After that opening minute of the round, which was undoubtedly Yashvili's opening minute, there's an uppercut that lands from Grant, and everything starts to change after that. And I think Grant probably got the better of those final two minutes of the round. I agree with you 100%, Corey. Yashvili did apply a lot of good, good pressure in the first minute of that fourth round with the clean clear punches that Justin Grant landed. And to be honest, I felt he even rocked Ishabili a little bit in the fourth and final round. Ultimately a tough um, call for the judges to call here tonight, but a great opening fight here at the Owls Nest. Um, and it, looking forward for the result. We'll take a look back at the action from the contest as a whole, and it was an exciting way to kick things off here at BoxFest. The story, the moral of the story, how this fight played out, when Justin Grant boxed on the outside, he boxed beautifully and made it tough for Ishabili to land those power shots. When Ishabili had Justin Grant on the ropes, he landed those power shots and he took the steam out of Justin Grant. So it looks like we have our decision rendered. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of action, we go to the scorecards, and all three judges score the bout identically. 39 37 to your winner. By unanimous decision, Enzar Fiyashvili! So 39 37 across the board. 
And Steve, you know, as we were talking about, this is a four-rounder, first and foremost. And we were speculating that two of the rounds were toss-ups. So 39-37 essentially means that every judge gave Yashvili the benefit of the doubt in every round. And I guess you can see it that way, Steve, but I, I thought that the opening round and the final round were just a grand round. I, I did as well, Corey. Um, I mean, we're sitting here calling the fight. I'm not a professional judge, but I definitely thought it was a lot closer than that. Um, hats off to M30 Shigili. He's 3-0. Tough luck for Justin Gray. I mean, the kid fought his heart out, and he fought great here tonight. Um, I look forward to seeing Justin Gray here again. Yeah, all right, we're going to hear from our winner in just a moment. Let's send it up to a third member of our broadcast team, George Nasios. Congratulations, Enza. Great fight. Amazing final round. Felt like you both knew it was going to come down to that final round. Can you just give me your impressions of the fight? There was a general plan, thanks everyone. Uh, there was a general plan to go down to the round four, and he knew that that's where everything was uh, about to be decided, so. Sorry, did he say the plan was to go to round four? Yes, that's, that, that was the plan to go. He was prepared for the round four to go. The first minute of the fight in the first round seemed like you came out very strong in the first minute, and then he kind of got you to back off a bit and then it became a, a bit of a game of cat and mouse. But was your impressions off the top? That first minute you came out really strong. Were you trying to finish it early? Uh, so, it was just tactical plan. He let his opponent know his strength, so he be careful. And he was saying afterwards, he was saying his energy for the round three and round four. Plus to the opponent, he was a very great guy, very strong guy, and he wishes him the best. It seemed he kept you at bit of bay with his jab. Was it difficult to move around that jab when he got you in the middle of the ring? Yeah, of course, the opponent was very strong, and his hits were pretty strong too, but he can eat some hits, so, and he could just get up from the corner and do his job. On behalf of the crowd, congratulations. Amazing, exciting fight. Uh, is there anybody you want to thank? Alright. Uh, thanks to all the coaches and all the team members. Uh, he appreciates your work that you've done with him and all his friends and uh, everyone who supports him from here, from back home, especially his best friend and coach back home, Zura, and uh, he, uh, Zura Mekirishvili, and he thanks them all, and uh, he's appreciated that you guys are standing the job that you guys are doing. Awesome, thank you. Thank you for an awesome fight. One more. Uh, he wants to uh, thank his amazing wife there, for supporting her, they just had a baby like a week ago, so he wants to thank her for all the support and all the love that she's given. So. Congratulations. One more? That's okay. Congratulations, Emza Yachvili.